President Vladimir Putin on Thursday congratulated Donald Trump on his election victory in the Russian leader's first public comment on the outcome of the U.S. vote. Putin's comment came after a speech during an international forum conference in the Black Sea resort of Sochi. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate him on his election as President of the United States of America, Putin said in a question-and-answer session. What was said, by Trump, in the desire to restore relations with Russia, to help end the Ukrainian crisis, in my opinion, seems to deserve at least attention, Putin said. Я не хочу сейчас комментировать то, что было сказано в ходе избирательной борьбы. И я думаю, что сказано сознательно в борьбе за голоса избирателей. Но не важно. А вот то, что было сказано по стремлению, стремлению восстановить отношения с Россией, способствовать завершению украинского кризиса, мне, на мой взгляд, кажется, это заслуживает внимания, как минимум. И я пользуюсь случаем, хочу поздравить его с избранием на пост президента Соединенных Штатов Америки. Я уже говорил, что, что мы будем работать с любым главой государства, которому окажет доверие американский народ. Так будет и, действительно и на практике. А если, он, а если он выполнит то, что все время сейчас говорил, вот буквально в ближайшее время до инаугурации позвонит вам и скажет, Владимир, давай встречаться. Вы знаете, я не считаю зазорным и со своей стороны ему позвонить. Просто не делаю этого, потому что э, руководители западных государств э, с какого этапа, они чуть ли не каждую неделю мне звонили, а потом вдруг прекратили. Ну, не хотят, ну, не надо. Мы, как видите, живы, здоровы, и ничего, и развиваемся, идем вперед. Если кто-то из них э, захочет возобновить контакт, я всегда говорил, хочу еще раз сказать, мы ничего против не имеем. Пожалуйста, будем контакты возобновлять и вести дискуссии. Ну, то есть с Трампом готовы повести? Готово, готово. Хорошо. South Korea's President Yoon suk Yeol said Thursday he is not ruling out supplying weapons to Ukraine. Yoon said that Seoul may start with sending defensive weapons to Ukraine if it decides to provide weapons to support the country in its war with Russia. Yoon said his government will continue assessing the situation and monitor the level of North Korean troops' involvement in the war. Yoon said he also discussed North Korea's provocations including trash balloons, GPS jamming and missile provocations with the former US president and now president-elect Donald Trump in a phone conference. The leaders agreed that they should meet as soon as possible, Yoon said. In response to a question about possible damage to South Korea's economy due to stronger protectionist policies under the new U.S. administration, Yoon said his government had already been making preparations to minimize any potential impact.
믿기지 않는다. 여기에 대해서 어떻게 할 건가. 그래서 얘는 전광판 좀 보고 뛰세요. 이런 칼란. 바이든 정부 때랑 똑같다고는 할수 없지만 그 우리의 피해와 우리 국민 경제의 손실을 최소화시키기 위해서 다각도로 하여튼 노력을 지금 하고 있습니다. 벌써 이건 뭐 이런 위스크 해징을 위한 준비는 오래 됐고요. Indonesia's Mount Liwatobi Laki Laki erupted again for the second time Thursday, spewing a column of hot clouds that rose 8,000 meters from its peak, three days after a midnight eruption killed nine people and injured dozens of others. There was no immediate report of casualties from the latest eruption. The 1,584-meter volcano on Indonesia's remote island of Flores unleashed clouds of gray hot ash Thursday. The mixture of rock, lava and gas was thrown up to one kilometer from its crater, Indonesia's Center for Volcanology and Disaster Mitigation said in a statement. The volcano lulled in activity since Monday's deadly eruption killed nine people and injured 64 others. Monday's eruption affected more than 10,000 people in 10 villages. About 4,400 villagers moved into makeshift emergency shelters after the eruption, which destroyed seven schools, nearly two dozen houses and a convent on the majority Catholic island. The country's volcano monitoring agency increased Liwatobi Laki Laki's alert status to the highest level and more than doubled the exclusion zone to a 7km radius since then, prohibiting any activity in that area. Authorities warned the thousands of people who fled not to return home, as the government planned to move about 16,000 residents out of the danger zone, said National Disaster Management Agency head Suharianto, who like many Indonesians uses a single name. Permanent relocation is considered as a long-term mitigation measure to anticipate eruption in the future, Suharianto told reporters after visiting the devastated areas Thursday. Liwatobi Laki Laki is one of a pair of stratovolcanoes in the East Flores district of East Nusa Tenggara province, known locally as the Husband and Wife Mountains. Laki Laki means man, while its mate is Liwatobi Perempuan, or woman.